please join me in welcoming Tony Adeyemi to receive the Girls Right Now Award. So I'm gonna be honest, I'm not classy enough to know or understand what most awards mean. So whenever someone tells me that I've won something, I take advantage of my big eyes and go, really? Until I can figure out what the award is and react appropriately. Um, but with this award, it was the one time I didn't have to do that because this organization and every person who's a part of it and all of the mentees in it means so much to me and are so near and dear to my heart. So when Yemi told me about this, I was just like, oh, okay, you gotta make it work. You gotta make it work no matter what. And so I'm really excited to be here. Um, but before I begin, I also wanna take a moment, one, to recognize all the amazing women in this room and all the people who run girls right now because I, I never, I'm very confused every time I meet a mentee because they have so much poise and confidence that I feel like, oh, you run the organization? And they're like, I'm 14. And I'm like, okay, you know? <laughs> like, you're raising an incredible generation of women. But I also wanna thank DVF because like, I watch a lot of Project Runway and so I feel like Tim Gunn would be really proud right now. <laughs> um, and I also wanna take a moment to thank Phoebe um, you're an inspiration, and I, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, you're an inspiration, you're an icon, and you're a queen in every sense of the word, and your brilliant mind and writing shines in so many forms, but my favorite piece of your writing is an Instagram caption, um, you gave an extensive commentary on Russell Crowe's performance in Les Mis, <laughs> and every time I am sad, I read it and I cackle, so thank you. <laughs> And just thank you in general for the light and laughter that you put into the world and really for making all the girls in this room, including me, feel like we can do everything. I love seeing all the new like ventures you're going to and all the movies you're in and I'm just like, okay, Phoebe, blaze that trail. So that's just a side note. This doesn't count as my speech. <laughs> okay. To the brilliant, powerful, shining queens in this room, I'm nervous. Now, one reason I'm nervous is because I struggle to keep things short. I don't know if you've seen, read, or held my book. <laughs> I'm not good at doing anything shortly, but the real reason I'm nervous is because I want so deeply to use this time to remind you all how magnificent you truly are. I don't have any children, but I think about how I wanna raise my future daughter every day. And part of this is because I'm one of the most neurotic type A people you'll ever meet, so I just wanna be prepared. Um, but the other reason is because I think to be born into this world as a girl is to be born into a war. It's a war between you and society that tries to break you down and convince you that you aren't enough, that your voice doesn't matter, and that you don't deserve every bit of this world and then some. I'm standing here today to tell you not to waste another second of your lives believing those lies. We may enter this earth at war, but it's that war that turns us into warriors. Because despite the endless barrage from society telling us otherwise, one day we learn the truth, and that truth is that you matter. Your voice matters, and your words matter. The moment you realize that and believe it in the deepest depths of your soul is the very moment you become unstoppable. Because as the genius comment, or comic Hannah Gadsby says, there is nothing stronger than a woman who's rebuilt herself. And let's face it, like you guys are already saving the world. You know, Mari Kopany, AKA Little Miss Flint, is single-handedly solving the Flint water crisis. And she's 12. Um, mere days after one of the most traumatizing experiences possible, Emma Gonzalez started leading national gun reform. Marley Diaz wanted more black girls' books and started a movement that's helped diversify children's publishing. Naomi Wadler is giving national speeches to educate people about the gun violence issues and domestic abuse issues that black women face every day and that no one has ever really talked about. And Malala stood up to the freaking Taliban and started an international movement. So you guys are already warriors, but you're beyond warriors. You're the Dora Malaji, you know, Wakanda forever. And <laughs> I pity anyone who is stupid enough to get in your way. So do not let anyone or anything make you feel like you can't do everything you want in this world and then some, because you're already doing it every single day. And for the writers in this room, you play a special part in saving the world, because stories have always brought humanity together, and words have always moved people throughout history. Pause for the page turn. I did it very casually. <laughs> the whole reason I'm able to stand in front of you today is because words I thought no one would ever listen to or ever read are now being read by thousands of people all over the planet. Words are changing hearts and minds 
one person at a time. And one person at a time is all we need to change the world. So when I look across this room, I feel like Mama Agba watching her little warriors because I know in my heart you guys are going to do so much more because even in your early years, you're already so much more. So I'm gonna wrap this up with a little exercise just to make sure it all really sinks in because I find it's easier to believe in something if you shout it. So I need all of the girls and the women in this room to raise your right hand. You have to do it because I have a mic, okay. <laughs> now repeat after me. Say, I am a magnificent beast. A little louder this time. Say, I am a queen. I am a queen. Okay. Say, I don't dance now. I make money move. Hey, <laughs> hey, okay. Now, I slipped that last one in there, but I want you <laughs> to repeat those three phrases every morning when you wake up and every night before you go to bed. Stare at yourself in the mirror and remind yourself of the warrior you are and all of the incredible things you're gonna do in this world. There is so much darkness surrounding us right now, but this room is full of so much light. And looking at your intelligent, beautiful faces gives me so much hope for the future. So don't lose that, don't believe the lies, keep fighting because our world needs you and it needs your words. And this is a complete side note from the rest of the speech, but find me afterwards because I'd like to show you how to throw a proper elbow because I just feel like we all need that as women. Thank you.